Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. Welcome back to Class of Fridays, where we look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series. This week we are looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Special Mission Cobra Island Target Exclusive Breaker and the Ram Motorcycle. Let's take a look at the packaging. It has a window pane so you can see the figure and vehicle. We have a couple logos. This is in the G.I. Joe Classified Series and Special Mission Cobra Island. This is Alvin Breaker Kibby with Ram Cycle. There is some artwork that is pretty good, but it's backlit by an explosion, which is both a callback to the original box art and an unusual choice because the figure and the motorcycle are darker, so it's harder to see the details. The artwork continues to the side of the box, and again, it looks good. It's a bit brighter, so you can see more details. It must have been a challenge for the artist to squeeze in a motorcycle and the rider into this space. On the back of the box, we have some generic Cobra Island artwork. Work. This is not specific to Breaker. The Cobra Island artwork in the background is the same as what we've seen on other Special Missions Cobra Island releases, but there are some updates. For example, the Cobra Island Baroness figure with motorcycle came in the same size box and had the same Cobra Island artwork, but these close-ups have been updated. On this side of the box, we see he is number 29 in the series, and these symbols represent his specialties. This one, surprisingly, means he's a fan of Rocky Horror Picture Show. This one means he would rather you text than and call. This means he loves comic books, and this one means his heart is locked away, and he's just waiting for the right person to come along with the key. Let's pull Breaker and the Ram out of the box so we can take a look at them. Here we have Breaker and the Ram outside of the box, and don't they look great? Excellent details, excellent military colors, nice subtle contrast between the greens on the figure and the motorcycle. These are the originals. This is the vintage Breaker action figure from 1982, and the vintage Ram motorcycle also from 1982. The green colors on the breaker action figures are very close to the same, but you can see the vintage Ram motorcycle is in a much lighter green than its classified counterpart. Classified breaker included only one accessory, his helmet. The vintage breaker figure included a helmet, a communications backpack, and a headset. This is still communications equipment, but modern breaker's communication gear fits just in his helmet. He doesn't need a backpack. This is a nicely sculpted helmet. It has goggles with two-tone paint. The communications gear is in black. It has an antenna and a microphone, and those are both in soft plastic, so they will not break off. Looking at Breaker starting with his head, this is a very nicely sculpted head with brown hair and a brown beard. This is the same as the vintage figure, but with much greater detail. The uniform is pretty plain. It's mostly in the same shade of green, no camouflage or anything like that, but that's fine for Breaker. It makes it look more like the vintage figure. He does have a flat jacket that is a separate piece you could probably remove that but I don't think it's intended to be removed it's a really nice extra accessory though there's a subtle difference in the greens and there are black straps and that's another callback to the vintage figure the legs are in that same green plastic color no paint applications he has black knee pads and black boots and these boots look great I love them it's difficult to make standard combat boots look good but these add just enough extra details to make them look functional but also make them aesthetically pleasing. The articulation is what you would expect from a classified figure so excellent range of motion on the head. The arm swings up at the shoulder but not very far. It does swivel at the shoulder all the way around. He has a swivel on the upper arm and double jointed elbows. The wrists have swivels and his right wrist has both a swivel and a hinge. Movement at the torso is hindered a little bit by that flak jacket. He has an excellent leg split but you do have to pop his legs back in the sockets when you move them back. These hips are a little loose. He has a wide range of motion at the hip, a thigh cut, double jointed knees, a boot cut, and hinged and rocker ankles. There's a bit of reuse of parts on this figure, which ironically makes it more like the vintage figure. Do you recognize those arms? Well, those arms originally belonged to Duke. This is a utilitarian figure. It is function over form, and I love it. Breaker means a lot to me, but he's not an especially popular character, so I wasn't expecting to get a classified release of the figure. Now let's look at the Ram motorcycle. Motorcycles lend themselves to some nice details in 
in certain areas, especially the engine. This has rubber wheels, which I think is a very nice touch. The front fork will turn, so it will steer, and that is linked to the handlebars. That side gun has a gray wheel, black gun barrels, and a green housing. It will detach. It has a couple pegs to attach to the side of the motorcycle. This weapon has a feature the vintage vehicle did not have. It will split apart, and you can take the Gatling gun out. It has a grip, so it can now be a handheld weapon. This appears to be the same minigun included with heavy artillery roadblock, and this is a nice weapon for roadblock. I'm all for it. This classified ram does not have the saddle packs that the vintage ram did. It does have a kickstand. That works very nicely. It has a couple pegs to peg the figure's feet on, and the livery is a direct callback to the vintage vehicle. In the front we have a silver headlight, a smoky clear plastic windscreen, and painted instrument gauges. That's really nice. These handlebars are on ball joints and that makes it a little easier to fit in the figure's hand. Here is breaker on the ram and this is so beautiful I am losing my mind. It is difficult to get the figure on the motorcycle mainly because his grip is really tight so it's difficult to get his hands on the handlebars but his hands are made of a soft enough plastic that you can work with them and get them on. This pairing is perfect. Breaker was on the box art for the vintage Ram, and I always had Breaker riding the Ram. Since he did not include any weapons, this just made sense. That was my review of the G.I. Joe Classified Ram with Breaker. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me for another Class of Friday. I will be back next Friday for another G.I. Joe Classified Toy Review. Please subscribe to the channel for more G.I. Joe reviews. I have a huge back catalog of vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews please check those out support the channel on patreon so i can continue to do gi joe videos thank you for watching i'll be back soon and until then remember only gi joe is gi joe